This is a very horrible story and trigger warning is in effect. This is Chinere Ogudoro, a 46 year old mother of four who returned from Scotland on the 31st of March 2022, only to meet her end barely 24 hours after she arrived in Nigeria. She and her younger brother both died in a fire incident that happened in a house in Lagos State barely 24 hours after she got home. But the fire incident was not an accident. It was a premeditated murder said to have been carried out by the woman's husband, 50 years old Benjamin Ogudoro, who as we speak right now is currently in police custody. So what really happened? Why did this man decide to kill his wife and his in-law in the manner he did? Although different sources had different explanations, but from what I gathered, Chinyere and her husband used to live in Lagos until four years ago when Chinyere went to Scotland to chase a master's degree. After obtaining her degree there, she decided to settle there and opened a business there. It was said her visa allowed her to move into Scotland with her entire family, in which she did. Chinyere and her four children, along with her husband, at the time, moved to Scotland. However, it was said that after a few years, Benjamin came back to Nigeria. Before this, it is important to know that their marriage was not exactly all beds and roses. Some sources claimed that at a time in their marriage, they used to be in constant fights. There was even a particular fight where he used the machete to almost hit her which caused them to separate for a period of time before getting back together before traveling to Scotland. So it's important to know that their marriage was not exactly all bed and roses from the onset. They have a history of turmoils. So when Benjamin left his wife and children in Scotland and came back to Nigeria, people figured maybe they had had a fight again, but no one really knew what the fight was about. But a particular source did claim that Benjamin came back to Nigeria to secretly sell off the house that they have in Lagos. He wanted to sell off the house without her knowledge. However, in the process of trying to sell off the house, he got a very big shock of his life. One some sources claimed led to this tragedy. When Benjamin wanted to sell their property in Lagos, he discovered that the house did not have his name in it. It was only Chinere's name that was listed in the documents of ownership of the house. It was said that Benjamin was stunned. Benjamin was shocked. Benjamin was disappointed that the house only had his wife's name. And I don't know if that kind of stopped him from selling it, but I'm going to guess it did stop him from selling the house because it's not his house. And he clearly can't sell what isn't his. So it was said that the fact that his wife only put her name in the house ticked him off and kind of made him very angry. It's unclear if he called the wife and they spoke on the phone when she was still in Scotland. But eventually, when Chinere came to Nigeria, it was said that she came because she learned her husband wanted to sell their house and she wanted to stop him. It wasn't as if she came for a vacation because her children are still in Scotland. So her trip down to Nigeria was to stop the husband or was to confront the husband about selling their house. And it was clear that her and her husband were not in talking terms because when she arrived in Lagos, it was her younger brother that came to pick her from the airport. I would think her husband would have come to pick her from the airport, but it was the younger brother, uh, Ifain, that came to pick Chinyere from the airport. So when Chinyere landed in Nigeria on the 31st of March, she went straight to the house in Lagos, I think the same house that they wanted to sell, and um, Ifain also went with her to the house. Ifain has his family. Ifain has a wife and he has his own family. So I would have thought he would have gone home to his own family after all he has brought his sister back to a house. Apparently, Ifain decided to spend the night in their house. It's not clear why. It could be probably because the distance back to his house would cause a lot of traffic. Or it could be that they knew that this man is crazy and Ifain decided to stay back because he knows that there's an issue going on. He knows that there's tension between the wife and the husband. And he knows that this man has a violent past. So I'm guessing if I needed to stay back just to be sure that this man doesn't do anything stupid to his sister. But for what is worth and as sad as it is, I guess if I'm staying back may have turned out to be a good thing after all, regardless of the tragic end. From my own observation, I figured Chinere was a very smart woman. I mean, she has the master's degree and she knew her husband. She has figured her husband out. She knew what Benjamin was capable of. And I'm guessing that is why she put the house name 
in her name because she probably saw that one day this man could sell this house and i think that was why she may have also asked her brother to stay back because she knows her husband might be stupid the only problem was that she didn't know how stupid he could get now according to ifain moments before he died he revealed to the police and everyone else that around 3 a.m when he and his sister were asleep they heard the door banging someone was knocking aggressively at the door ifain was the one who went to answer the door only to learn that it was benjamin that was at the door knocking when he opened the door benjamin was shouting and yelling at them accusing them of locking him outside the house according to ifain he did not bolt the door the door was only locked with the key and he had a spare key he had his own key and he could easily have opened the door with his key from outside i guess it's a jam lock but that did not stop benjamin from being aggressive cursing insulting and just plainly being rude to them but ifain and chinyere did not really reply him because they know that he's crazy so they clearly did not want to add to whatever was making him hungry clearly he was already upset that he failed to sell the house and he learned that his name was not in the house i'm sure he's probably very threatened by the success of his wife after all it was the success of his wife that took all of them there to scotland so it's unclear what his aggression was but clearly they knew that he was crazy and that was why when he was shouting that early morning they did not really give him the reply after everything calmed down chinyere and ifain went back to sleep but this bastard decided to strike it was said he first went out in the compound to turn off the water supply then he went to the generator house got the gallon of fuel came into the room doused them both with the petrol and lit them on fire i don't know if they slept in one room or if it was a closed room or if it was like a, a shared room or if it was uh he, if he went to one's room and went to the other person's room but since i think he came to literally protect his sister i'm guessing he was in her room which would make it easy for him to douse them both with petrol after he set them both on fire he ran out of the door and locked it from outside and then after a moment of seeing that they were both struggling inside the house to find help to come out run into the bathroom to quench the fire but no water was running into the house and then ifain with his body on fire struggling to open the door so he could come out for help but couldn't that was when benjamin began shouting help help calling attention from the neighbors seeking help as though he had just escaped out of the house and when the neighbors came they couldn't break through the door and when they tried to get water in the compound they noticed the water wasn't rushing but eventually ifain was able to break out of the house caught up in fires and then the people around there helped him up he was badly burned but he was still alive however when they went inside to rescue chinere it was too late she was burnt badly she was burnt beyond recognition and i think to the point her body parts amputated her burns were very bad soon afterwards ambulance came and he was placed in the ambulance while he was there i guess the police came and people came around and he told them everything that happened and after he finished saying everything he died some sources did say that he was taken to the hospital and you know after receiving treatments he just couldn't make it but the good part is that he was able to tell the police he was able to give a dying declaration of who actually caused the fire and with that benjamin was instantly arrested i think benjamin thought they were both going to die and he was going to act like you know he was the one who escaped i'm sure he was really disappointed to see that ifan still had a little life in him to expose him so the incident is very unfortunate it's unclear if he's admitting to it yet but i doubt he would and the family of both chinyere and ifine are calling for justice which i think they will get he clearly seemed to have a motive and thank goodness ifine gave his dying declaration my only problem is i feel like chinyere knew her husband i feel like chinyere should have known how far he could go hopefully should have just stayed in the hotel because any man who can carry cutlass to want to hit his wife is definitely capable of setting her on fire the signs were there she should have left this man long before now she was clearly doing fine on her own she clearly did not need this man but let me know your thoughts let me know what you think of this tragedy do you think this was something that could have been avoided let me know what you think in the comments below